We understand what can happen to the mind as we focus its attention on something. And in the context of a hypnosis session, we rely fondly on using the hypnotic gaze to gather the focus of our client. Now with this in mind, here is one exercise to develop an intense hypnotic stare that will have you directly in contact with the mind of everyone you speak to. Hello again, it's Scott Jansen from the Conversational Hypnosis Academy. And this submission, we're gonna look at one exercise to develop an intense hypnotic stare for hypnotherapy. Now, not only does the hypnotic stare grasp the attention of a client, but you know it's the quickest way possible to close off conscious thinking and impress on the unconscious. Now this occurs because of the unusual situation we create with a kind and caring intense stare into our client's eyes. Now this stare builds the pressure and allows the mind to get overly confused and shuts off normal conscious thinking patterns. Now while staring is easy, we find the trouble comes from the hypnotist who is either not used to staring for long periods or either finds it awkward and maybe finds their own eyes starting to fatigue, thus dropping the intensity. So if this is you, here is the one exercise to develop an intense hypnotic stare that will have your clients releasing more unconscious moments than ever before. Now do this exercise daily. It not only develops your staring, but teaches you how to strengthen your own unconscious concentration, which is the key to motivation, success, and business. So here it is. Step one, find an object to stare at that is directly in front of you. Now make sure you're seated just for the sake of safety. Step two, for the next 30 seconds to one minute, stare at the object and take in all the details you can from shape, color, texture, etc. Step three, break off the stare. Write down what you saw and noticed and count how many details you actually saw. Step four, repeat again and concentrate on finding and noticing new things about the objects you did not notice before. Step five, break the stare again. Write down the new things you saw and count them as a collaboration. Step six, repeat this until you notice nothing new about its features. Now you might do this many, many times. The idea here is to strengthen your mind's ability to notice new things than before. Now while this may seem simple, but think of what this is doing for your concentration. How could having laser-like focus and concentration help you in your business? Maybe just working with clients or even studying hypnosis. Now in addition to this, the very fact your own attention is on finding and seeing new parts of the object is strengthening your ability to analyze and become more involved with the object. Now think of what this does for your unconscious focus. Maybe when trying to listen out for motivation and leverage when your clients are discussing that issue with yourself. Your key to becoming a successful hypnotist, business owner and therapist relies on your ability to maintain your focus on what is in front of you without drifting off into trivial things. So that's all for now. It's Scott Jansen here again from the Conversational Hypnosis Academy. Hope you enjoyed. Put this idea into play. And we look forward to seeing you on the next one. Bye for now.